Welcome to Inside the Lines with Crappy Paddy. I'm RJC MTV. Today I'm going to take you down a fairly new trail called Becerra Canyon uh, at South Mountain aboard the Pivot Firebird 29. So a general overview of Becerra Canyon Trail. It's going to start out with some tight switchbacks, maybe eight or nine of those. You really want to control your speed. It's going to egg you on to go fast, but you're going to come into 160 degree tight switchbacks. Then it's going to progressively get steeper and steeper and looser. And you really want to control your speed because you're heading down to the mini waterfall, which you really want to ease into it, roll over, clean it, uh, get through the, the wash and the technical section down there, and then it opens out to some flat corners and fun times. All right, so the top of this trail, you're going to be confronted with around eight tight switchbacks, which are going to be really difficult to ride unless you can get little nose picks in. Personally, I'm not an expert at them, but I can do them well enough where I can gain a couple of degrees out of the corner and get through smoothly. So the key for me is coming in, aiming your front tire on the inside of the corner to allow room for your rear wheel, grab a bit of brake, weight the front, gain a couple of degrees, whatever you can, and roll smooth out of the corner. the tight switchbacks at the top we traverse across and now we get into the real steep stuff so GoPro is probably in full effect here not showing the, the steepness of this section of trail but we're gonna come through onto the slick rock and just try and control our speed to weave between these boulders because we're setting up and trying to not carry too much speed into the mini waterfall that's down below We've made it down the steeper section of the Sierra Canyon Trail and we come into this feature which we're calling the mini waterfall. Not because it's small, but it is smaller than the big waterfall on National. But I find it a little more janky, especially because of the run-in. You've got like a hairpin turn at the top there. You're going to have to nose pick in, roll over the crest because it's blind, uh, control your speed, crest the top there and just ease off the brakes and roll in smooth hopefully. Okay, now that we've just cleared the little rock waterfall up there, we're coming into the final technical turns. Uh, this one here, if you've cleared the top ones, this one should be pretty straightforward, but we do have a couple of big chunky rocks on the outside and some rubble and shale on the inside. Um, so I'm gonna come in, do a little nose pick to get the rear around and then roll out smooth down into the, the wash. Here we go, into some tight switchbacks. Super loose today. I don't think I've ever ridden this so loose. Control our speed. This switchback is super tight. Nice. So is this one. Nice. A couple of degrees is all you need to get you around that corner 
without it, it is really difficult to get around these. Take it a little bit easy. A little tight one here. Whoa! One clip. Another set. Another unclip. He didn't say it was easy. But hey, now we're getting into it. gets real steep and it's so dry and loose right now. Nice control. Climb over this rock. Oh, it's such a harsh video. Not talking much because it's pocket central here. Oh, like that. Off a rock. Oh. Now she opens up super fast. Flat corners. Big rocks, dodge the big rocks. GoPro. Oh, drift. Oh. Full drift. Bottom section so fine. Flat corners. Yeah. That's the end. Oh, I'm wrecked. Oh, and you're out. So there you go, that was Becerra Canyon Trail. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure the GoPro did not give it any justice. We got down pretty clean. We hit the lines that we talked about. We had a couple of overshoot moments there. Lent up against a rock for a couple of seconds, but we got down safe. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you get a chance, go check out my channel too. Patty will drop a link in the description. Uh, big shout out to Action Ride Shop and Pivot Cycles for supporting me and see you in the next one. Later.